Baylor and BYU. But we do have some news that Pete Thamel from ESPN put out there today. There's been questions about Puka Nakua and also Gunnar Romney, two very talented, productive wide receivers for Brigham Young, BYU. And he is reporting they are out against Baylor tomorrow in Provo, Utah. Yeah, and this is significant, and and not just in, in the way of like, oh, bummer, these guys are out. These are a big part of their offense. Look, Puka Nakua last week in the first quarter alone put the game away from USF, and so not having him in that offense and then not having to have Gunnar Romney at least to, to take off some of that stress is huge for a game that is very evenly matched, and uh, I mean, this is uh, you know a good chip in Baylor's corner and a bad one for BYU that they're not going to have their two, two of their three best offensive players playing. Uh, yeah, this is almost an inexcusable game for Baylor to lose now. I mean, in my opinion, I think that it was already a game where I expected them to go in there and win. Uh, to what degree and what fashion, um, you know, I, I'm not, you know, predicting blowouts or anything like that, but I do feel good about Baylor winning. I feel great about them winning now uh, because of these these injuries, because they are a huge part, 60% of the offense. Uh, I think Pete Thamel had in that article of their receiving total so far this year. I know it was touch and go as far as like some of their availability last week, but it seemed like, okay, they were able to go out there and, you know, especially Nakua play and, and thought that, you know, if anything, it would be one of those things where you kind of set it up to where you ramp them up to be back in full for this game. Um, I thought that was maybe what was some, some of what was going on, but uh, apparently not. I mean, apparently it's just an injury that uh, they're going to have to sit down and, and bog down and deal with this weekend. And that's really unfortunate for Jaron Hall. That's unfortunate for BYU. And it, it's fortunate in some ways for Baylor, but uh, by no means can they sit there and just chalk this up as a W. Now they still got to go out there and do it, but uh, this is significant. There's no doubt. Out. Well, it is because both of them, as you said, the percentage of production and yardage and everything else in uh, last year, 38-24, Baylor winning in Waco at 1.38-17. Uh, the deal, though, last year, and I was on a station, Paul, your favorite KSL out of Salt Lake City today. And the bottom line is this. Last year, Jaron Hall had a 58-yard touchdown run. Last year, the other 23 carries from BYU on the ground with Algier, and he was really good. 23 carries for 12 yards. They could not run the ball. So, you know, Baylor ran for 300. Uh, they also then sacked, I believe, Jaron Hall five times. There were seven tackles behind the line of scrimmage. They dominated the line of scrimmage. That's what it still comes down to. If Hall has time, no matter who the receivers are, but Baylor just jammed it down their throat. Yeah, and if they can, if they can, you know, mash them physically like they did last year, I think that's what kind of took me, uh, uh, shocked me the most about that BYU game last year was how much more physical Baylor was. We knew that that was what Baylor's calling card was. But the fact that there was this gap between the two of them, two really good teams in BYU, uh, you know, last year had a really good, I mean, heck, they won the Pac-12. Uh, so yeah. they they had a really good team last year, but the physicality was just a, a step above. And then you saw that again several times down the line. Baylor absolutely did it to Ole Miss. They did it to Texas. They absolutely did it to Texas. And that was their calling card. So has BYU closed that gap? I don't know. I mean, that's a big gap to close because when you've got winners up front, which Baylor does on both sides of the ball, they're not going to lose many games. Yeah. Well, to, uh, you know, to put it this way, if you take out uh, Nakua and Romney, there goes basically all of their receiving yards from this game last year. I mean, last year they ran for 67 yards. 15 of 33 yards or 15 carries for 33 yards was Tyler Algier. So he's out. Puka Nakua had a carry for nine yards. So basically their returning rushing is Jaron Hall, their quarterback who had 25 yards on eight carries for a score. And one of those was 58. So minus 30 before, if you take out the yeah. run. Yeah. Yeah. And then receiving wise Nakua was, he was great. Uh, had five, 168 and a score. Uh, and then Romney was second. He had three for 81. Uh, so you, you take those out and that's, two thirds of their receiving total last year. But, but look at Baylor's box score and all that's wiped out yep. too. All those guys yep. are gone. All the receiving yards, all the rushing yards, even uh, the quarterback, Gary Bohannon, he was the only one that played last year in this game. So a hundred percent of the offense from either team yeah, last year, like all the offense is brand new basically. Yeah. All right. So that's tomorrow night, late night. We'll have